Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the second channel here with Sunday Morning Shred and these vlogs that I do. Today I want to give you guys a little preview of some of the episodes coming up for Trash to Thrash. Some of the parts just came in for the guitars. And a lot of the episodes this season are sponsored by Iron Age Accessories and a lot of them are sponsored by Tessie Switch. So I just got some packages from both of them with some kill switches. Iron Age Accessories also just sent me the new Season 4 of Trash to Thrash Limited Edition Guitar Picks. So those will be going on the website this week, Thursday, when Trash to Thrash comes out. And I'm going to show you them here. If you really want one, pre-order one for all the hardcores who subscribe to this channel. Send me an email, mark at Guitar Guts, and I'll send you one of them. So they're 20 bucks. They come in a little pouch. I'll show you in a couple seconds, and they come with some other Iron Age picks. And they're a collector's edition thing, so they're really cool for those of you who collect picks like myself. And then while I got these picks out, I wanted to show you guys some of the other picks I have in my collection because I have a pretty cool little collection of picks including a lot of custom Guitar Guts picks that I've had made from Iron Age over the years and that they've decided to make me over the years. So some of them I custom designed, some of them they just sent me because they're super cool. And I wanted to show you these and a little preview of the guitar that's going to be on this week's Trash to Thrash. I just assembled the pickups, so let's start there. Look at all this cool stuff we just got in. Like I said, I'll show you the pickups close up. We got a bunch of kill switches from Tessie. We got a bunch of them from Iron Age. We got some limited edition picks, so let me show you guys everything we got. All right guys, so these are the pickups that are going in this week's Trash to Thrash guitar. How awesome are these? These were actually zebra colored Seymour Duncan pickups that the customer wanted some cool covers on. I had these ones in stock from doing another build and I got new screws for them. We put new covers on them, got some brand new rings for them and black nickel. Actually, I think these are black Cosmo. I don't really know the difference between black chrome, black nickel, and Cosmo black. I'm guessing there is a slight different intent. So I believe these are Cosmo black. Check this pick out. This thing is sweet. So it's made, it's got like these little cuts on the side and it, they have these spearhead picks. So this is what it is. It's got a nice matte finish to it and a really cool blue metallic type of, you know, pearloid uh, material. Really awesome. And then it's got a little bit of gold filler there with the Guitar Guts skull logo, Crossbones logo, and it says Guitar Guts there at the top. Awesome picks, man. Really, really cool. The people over at Iron Age really make some interesting, really cool, different stuff. And then they sent me a bunch of kill switches too. So we got this one here. It's going in an, an Alien Blood splatter guitar with a really cool twist to it. You guys, you guys are going to see that in about a month or so. This is going in a red crackle Ibanez that will be towards the end of the season. I think probably the season finale. Awesome guitar. It's coming out so cool. I'm going to say that about all of them probably. But this is going into a really sick LTD with some crackle on it that you'll see in two or three weeks. And then we got this one which is going into a bumblebee paint job that's on a guitar that a bumblebee paint job would normally never be on. So really awesome. Thank you so much to Iron Age Accessories for sending those out. If you guys want to get an Iron Age Accessories kill switch, uh, I'll put my discount code down in the description below. There's also a discount code down there for Tessie. So we'll get to Tessie in just a second. But I want to show you some of the really cool picks that Iron Age has sent me over the years and some of the other randoms from my collection because I got quite the collection of guitar picks. I'm really particular about the kind of picks that I use. So what I always use is usually those Tortex Flexes right there, but those are really hard to find or the white Tortex Sharpie. Those are like my two top picks. But I still like collecting picks. I like having cool picks like these. And check out some of these. I had a couple people make these from photos of me. Actually, I, my old boss made this. Uh, he had like a, a crimper thing and we took one of my old driver, driver's licenses and punched out um, a picture of my face from like 15 years ago or 20 years ago or something when I was like 16 years old. Here's one of those new Guitar Guts limited edition Iron Age picks. These things are so sick. So over the years, we've designed quite a bit of Iron Age guitar picks. We got those ones, there's a duplicate. We got the green one. Oh, there's another really cool Iron Age pick, the Pick of Destiny. I got the small one and the larger one. Here's another really cool, this is one of the first Guitar Guts signature picks I had made. And this one has like a glow in the dark fill inside it and it's got an inlay of an Iron Age logo there. So that was always one of my favorites. This is another one that was one of the first ones that they made for me. It was on that arrow material, just like this, uh, the spearhead shape. With the logo on the back, some of these are very dirty because they were used, and then this one glows in the dark, so. Those two, I think, were the first ones I got from them. They sent me, you know, when I get, like, if you order a lot of kill switches from them, they'll send you little bonuses. They'll do, like, cool throw-ins, so 
big orders, I'll always get like a couple cool custom picks like that one or this one. There's actually a big, big, thick black one I have somewhere. Way thicker than any of these that I really like. I think it's over in the house on my desk. We got this. This one's made out of some type of like stone. It sounds like glass or something. It's a really cool pick. This thing's just a big old beast right here. We got this really cool one. It's like a big thick material. A couple more duplicates of some Guitar Guts ones. Another duplicate of a Guitar Guts one. I think there's a couple, uh, yeah, there's another one of the same. I forget who made these ones for me. Um, there was a bunch of pick companies. Like here, I got a bunch of Mathis ones. Mathis, I'm not sure, I haven't checked in with them for a while. Oh, the black Guitar Guts. Uh, that was like one of my favorite variations we made. We made limited runs of all these, so like we made like I think a dozen of each one and then sold them in my online store and gave a bunch away for um, Trash to Thrash audience. This was from the, man I'm bad, uh, Stone, um, Stone Age. Stone Age made this one and then I had two that matched that were so cool. The big one I dropped it and it broke. These are a couple of picks that are really cool. These were my great grandpa's from like 60 years ago. He used to play his mandolin and he would use these, these old picks, one's a fender thin, and then this one right here is like this weird little material that he just kind of shaped together, I think, or somebody gave him, I don't know. This right here is like my first guitar picks. I ran out of picks, and I was a little kid, so I had this weird board game around, and I would use these things as picks. People told me you could use coins, and then I started using those, because the coin I felt was a little too aggressive. This is another really cool one. This is one of the newer Guitar Guts ones they made me, and it's a clear, like acrylic material in that same spear shape. I got a lot of these. They used to make these wooden ones over at Iron Age, and I have a bunch of these. I told them I love them, and they sent me a bunch, so I still have a couple of those left. And then I got like a bunch of random promotion ones, like some boss picks, um, a warm off. I think there's an EMG somewhere, Borns, another wooden one here, another cool picture of me, a Tessie, got a Tessie pick, 60 second metal, Peyton, he's cool, a Guitar Center, yeah, there's the EMG Zach Wild pick. I had the Kirk Hammett and James Hetfield ones, and then I saw that they sell for like 15 bucks on eBay. So I sold those, had a few of each of those, and then I got the Stubbies, which I was a huge Stubby fan for a little while. And then these are like random ones from when I was, uh, this is like a NAM one, 7, uh, S7G, I think that's a guitar brand. This is from when I was a kid, I remember having this one, so I think it might glow in the dark. I don't even know, oh, Prashant Aswani, so Prashant, Prashant, I don't know how to say it, I think Prashant. Super Shredder. I think these might have came with the Revelation picks I bought, or uh, pickups I bought. Then we got some Iron Age randoms, so I also use these from time to time. I tried them out. I don't really like them, but they're interesting for, you know, finger picking on an acoustic or something. So if you want to pick up one of these, check out GuitarGuts.com. Um, I'll link directly to the picks down below. They're limited edition. There's probably only going to be uh, one run of them. I only do one run of all the picks, and then if somebody really wants more, we'll do another run of something different. So, let me show you guys the Tessie stuff here. I also have a guitar I want to show you guys. So Tessie makes some really cool stuff. I really like the presentation. The stuff comes in a really nice little box. And this one's just a gold on gold. It's going to have a uh, purple LED. So, the guitar from episode one of season four uh, it was the Purple Crackle LTD. And I used one identical to this. It was actually from my personal collection that I planned to put in one of my Jackson Rhodes. So I had them send me another one out because I used it on my M on the M100 build. So that'll be going in my Rhodes. These two are going to be for a couple of the next guitars from Trash to Thrash. Next week's episode are, is a, a pair of Wolfgangs. And actually, if you rewind to the beginning of the video, you saw one of them behind me. So it's that rude Wolfgang that was hanging behind me. And then right here we have, um, this is a black with like a purple LED. And this one is going in an LTD that I'm going to be giving away. The guitar is more of a bluish color, but the headstock has some purple. And I wanted to do something a little different, add a purple LED on it. I thought that was cool. And this is like my favorite thing that he sent out. Rob over at Tessie custom made me this kill switch. This is for a Wolfgang that's going to be later in the season, probably at the end of June or something. And the guitar has mixed hardware, black and gold because it's modeling something that we'll get into on the episode, but they actually made me a custom kill switch that's gold with a black button inside there, which I didn't know if he could do. I sent him an email and he said, dude, I got you. He sent them out, so dude, that is so sick. I am hoping this is something they offer to anybody. So if you're looking for something really custom and cool like this, hit up Tessie because I didn't know, I, you know, I didn't know this was possible. I didn't know you could take these apart like that. And also, 
Um, you know, I've never seen anybody sell mixed mixed ones like this. I think that's really cool. I'm not sure what they cost, but send Rob an email. Let him know what you need. All right, I also just got this guitar in um, a couple days ago. I haven't unboxed it yet, so let's check it out. This is from a customer, and this guitar will be featured in the future, not episode, not season four of Trash to Thrash. Actually, to be honest, this might be like season six, season five. We got a GNL. Never had a GNL here in the shop, so this is awesome. Let's clear off the workbench and get it up here. Yeah, these cases always have little square cutouts right here where the the latches break off. I've got two other ones with the exact same thing over there. So to give you guys an idea of how it usually works when I'm working with a customer, this particular guitar, I see that I filled out the original estimate in February. Now it's mid-May, and the guitar has just shown up here. So it takes a couple months sometimes of correspondence, emailing back and forth, finally getting the box and getting the guitar shipped in. So a couple months already has gone by that we've been planning this, but I'm going to give you guys a spoiler because you guys are the hardcores on this channel. This is for Guitar Guts 2, and I know this is the people who want extra content, the, the real guitar nerds like me. On this guitar, we're going to be throwing on another burst finish. It's going to be a silver burst. So we're going to do black on the outside to a silver burst inside, and we're going to upgrade some of the hardware, switch it over to black hardware. Of course, we're going to go with the matched headstock on this guitar. But yeah, we're going to give it a full overhaul, make it look like a completely different guitar. People always ask, why do you always put a kill switch on every guitar? Well, the main reason is I do these mostly for customers. Almost, you know, probably 85% of the guitars that I'm doing these days are for customers, and they see the other guitars I've done, and they want a kill switch. The other guitars, the other 15%, are custom ones that I make. And anytime I make a guitar, there's a small chance that I could get stuck with it. Maybe no one wants to buy that particular build because I kind of go out there on some of these builds. And if I'm going to be stuck with it, I need it to be playable for me. I don't want to own a guitar that I wouldn't, you know, I don't want to build a guitar that I wouldn't possibly want to own. So I always throw kill switches on the ones, the custom shop ones. But yeah, so this one's going to get one. So black hardware, matched headstock, and we're going to upgrade it to an HH, Seymour Duncan in the bridge, and a Sustainiac in the neck. So super sick setup. Watch for it probably in six to eight months on Trash to Thrash. All right, well, that's all I got for you guys this week. I gotta get back to work. Over here I'm working on this week's Trash to Thrash guitar, which, hey, there's a little preview for you. A lot of you have probably already seen it on my Instagram. If you don't follow my Instagram, at Guitar Guts, I do little previews on my stories, little sneak peeks, and here on this channel. I like to reward the people who go out of their way to follow my stories and follow Guitar Guts 2 channel. So, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know in the comments what you thought. You got a nice little preview of the GNL guitar. You saw some cool parts come in. And we got some awesome stuff coming up on Trash to Thrash in the next couple weeks. So be sure to tune in this Thursday on the main Guitar Guts channel. Guys, I will see you this Sunday for another episode of Sunday Morning Shred. It's a big Q&A. I got a ton of questions from you guys over the last few weeks on Trash to Thrash about the purple LTD M100 and that insane Splatter Jackson uh, JSX concept, that Splatter Crackle Jackson. It's sold. It's sold in 18 hours. So that thing is going to be heading to France very soon. I'm waiting for a gig bag to come in, going to get it all set up and shipped out this week. So another very successful episode and, and build and the fact that it sold right away, you know, makes me so happy. So thanks so much for watching, guys. If you want to send your guitar in to get rebuilt on the show ever, send me an email, mark at guitarguts.com. If you need help figuring out what you want on the guitar, what mods are possible for this guitar, I can help you with that. So send me an email, we'll figure it out, and I hope you guys all have a great rest of the week. Rock on, my friends.